Uh, a pretty open game there. What are your thoughts looking back on, on that as a whole? Um, oh, yeah, it was obviously very disappointing. And we started quite well and had a few tries really early on. And obviously, like you said, it was really open in the first half. We came out and uh, you know it was obviously a lot closer, defending pretty well, but it was just a bit gutting in the end. So they managed to get a try and then we can come back. Yeah, what was the what was the what happened in that second half? Obviously, Bristol known for their attacking threat. Obviously, carved teams open quite easily. What what happened in the second half? Oh, uh, it was it was you know we had similar in the first half. We were obviously falling off a lot of tackles, which gave that like helps into their game. Then they had their offloads and they were quite playing quite expansive. So I think it was you know just kind of one-off tackles really that helped them get ground and got them on the front foot. And I guess when the game opens like opens up like that as well, you get a little bit fatigued and that doesn't help the cause. Yeah, as soon as any team gets on the front foot, it's almost impossible to you know get back uh, back in control as a defence. You know, you're always on the back foot. They come around the corner, and it just speed the ball goes through the roof. So that's the main thing really. Is if you win up win your first collisions, uh, then you can get a good set going, and that's what we need to look at really. And obviously uh, a few decisions, a few bounces of the balls that didn't go your way as well. So do you chalk that down to a little bit of uh, bad luck as well? Yeah, that's always, oh, that's always the thing in rugby. I think the main things you control really are maybe discipline. We did give away a few penalties in the second half, which you know could come back and cost us and it maybe did here. But stuff like bounce of the ball, obviously, is that out of your control. So we just make sure we control the stuff we can. And plenty of positives to take, to take, especially from that first half, and plenty of learnings from those negative parts of the, f the second yeah, half. Yeah, definitely. Well. You know, for every game, this is obviously plenty of good stuff you can take, and plenty of poor stuff that you need to work on. But um, we have a really big game next week, so that's what we're really looking forward to. And uh, hopefully, we can just improve and be better, and uh, go next week and win that. And obviously, the squad have been on quite a high after the, the last two weeks. Obviously, that, that game aside today, still plenty of confidence you can take forward into the next block of games. Yeah, definitely. I know just as a squad, we always believe that we win games. I think if you're, you're in a really bad position, if you don't, don't believe you can win games. So, um, we, you know, we had a few good results and obviously we've been doing really well uh, in Europe. So we're just looking to take that form again and go, go next week. Yeah, and you, like you mentioned there, Europe has been a, a welcome break during this season for the squad. So I bet you can't wait to get stuck back into that competition. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's, you know, something the club has been, a, it's a rich history of the club, that sort of competition. So um, everyone's definitely looking forward to getting into that again. And uh, hopefully we go well. Yeah, Friday Night Lights uh, in Europe at King's Home is a special one, isn't it? It doesn't get much better than that, sir. It doesn't get much better. Cheers, Max. Hey, cheers.